Ooh, big summer blowout. <laughs> Hi, guys. Thank you so much for the 300 subs. Ooh. I thought I'd change it up this time and do something special. We're going to throw it back to a game from my childhood, actually. So this is going to be my very first cereal box game. So today we're going to be playing Freddy Fish 3, The Case of the Stolen Conch Shell. Oh, I remember being a kid and then, you know, when we used to get uh, CD-ROMs out of our cereal boxes. Well, this is one of those games and it actually like is a core memory for me. I still reference it like to this day, like some of the songs, some of the phrases, it's like the characters. I, I figured let's do something fun to kick off summer to celebrate 300 subs. One of my goals for the channel is to post a bunch of videos and playthroughs of games that I've enjoyed through my lifetime so far including some of these older games. Yes, I know it's a game targeted for kids, but I am just a big kid. I'm an adult. I need to satisfy my inner child. I enjoy playing these kinds of things. I think it's fun and lighthearted. I've decorated accordingly for our celebration. I tried to get my, uh, my flower crown to work with my cat ears, but that didn't work out. <laughs> it's gonna be really weird trying to play this game without them for the first time, you know? Now, so given that this is Freddy Fish, the case of the stolen conch shell, there are different possibilities for how the story can play out. So it's like a new game every time. You got to figure out, like, put the clues together and figure out who actually stole it. So it's going to be a bit of a mystery game for all of us here today. It's such a cute story and it brings back lots of memories for it. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Oh, that's funny. The game's from 1998, too. How are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Fam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Fam. Oh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fit. Aw, that's nice of him. They're so cute. <laughs> Freddy Fish and the Case of the Stolen Conch Shell. 1998. Oh, I feel so old. <laughs> Ooh, he crashed. Moon landing. Luther? Luther? I got my lace too. The lip, Sam. Have a good time. Oh, I wonder what kind of adventure we're gonna get. Oh man, what's this? Flamingo book, cool. Jeez, they animated like everything. Okay, what else can I do? So this is Sam, right? Thank you for flying Pelican Sam Airlines, the airline that never eats its customers. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Yeah, lucky that they trusted him. He reminds me of like uh, in the Rescuers. I think that was a seagull, though, not a pelican. Oh, kisses for you. I'm really excited about this trip. I'm glad that you could come with me. Aww. All oh, these bubbles, these are my inventory. Visiting new places is really exciting. It can be, yeah. All right, let's go see Luther's uncle. <laughs> A purple sea urchin. Hey, Luther, what word do the letters U-R-C-H-I-N spell? A pop quiz? Can't think. Rain failing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, you're so silly. They spell urchin, as in we found a purple sea urchin. I gotta start using that, like even like later in the day, <laughs> after I've exhausted my mental power for the evening, I could just start just being like, brain not working, and then just start screaming. <laughs> Ooh, nice teeth. You take care of them, you brush them. Okay, so we have one urchin in our inventory here. Hmm, I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. Uh. 
Nice. Great job. I knew you could pull it off. Get it? Pull off? Oh, Luther. Oh, Luther? Wait, why was this closed off to begin with? Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blenny? Blenny, that's his name? Oh, I remember Uncle this. <gasps> the doggy! He's so jail. cute! Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founder's Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. <gasps> There's Gil Barker. I remember Paul, Nadine. Nadine the narwhal. I remember. Rosie her. Pearl, Pierre the tailor, and Horst Fetters the tourist. I like Nadine because she's a narwhal. Yes, she's so cute. Fish, without the thief? Old Soggy Sniffer ain't what it used to be. Soggy? But if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. Yeah, don't worry, we got this. I love that the, his name is Soggy. Hey, Soggy, what do we do when we find the bad guy? <laughs> He reminds me of Courage, a cowardly dog. <laughs> Aww. That's my plan, too. Luther. What? To, to kill the bad guy? Oh my gosh. Oh. That's not good coffee. There's something living in there. Ha ha ha. Again. <laughs> One more donut. Oh, he put him back. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love this. There's gonna be like so many clickable things in this game that we get to explore, and it's all fish themed. I love fish. Ooh, he's cool. Same thing. Something different. Oh, he did the moonwalk. Oh, we get... I remember this! We get to make a bad guy. Who should we make? Ooh, sluggy. Shark. Eel. The seahorse. The seahorse was always my favorite. Anything horse related, right? As a former horse girl. Let's make a horse. The flower's cute. Poster? Cute fins. A pirate. Breakfast, plunger, painting, yo-yo. I don't know. These ones are kind of fun. I kind of like these. It reminds me of like a flying horse, like a pegasus or something. So maybe we can get a really big tail to match it. Yeah, like that's a good one. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh, who should be me? Oh, that was cute. We're gonna make a cute one. Nice big smile. Some lips. I like the big smile. I like this one. That one's adorable. Apron? Ooh. Okay, there's not an option for just nothing. This is this is cool. We can make it real fancy. Any fancy hair? I do like the octopus on top. Eh, this one's fancy too. Joe the perch. Oh, okay, our horsey is going to be... Ooh! Okay, 
Okay, maybe we can make her like Hailstorm Nation colors. Oh, there's no purple though. Oh man. Okay, what about the lip? Also pink? There we go. And we should do blue feathers. It's close enough. Oh, this is gonna take me a while. Hold on. How's that? <laughs> Had to adjust my name a little bit. That looks pretty good. She's cute. I, I approve. Okay, I guess that's me if I was a seahorse, a fancy seahorse in the Freddy Fish universe. Oh, it's even displayed on the TV! Such attention to detail. Okay. Let's start looking for clues. Oh, here's our first guy, Pierre. Right? Excuse me, sir, but are you a tailor? Not just a tailor. I am Pierre the tailor. And Pierre men sing so up. There's an egg on that so hat. If something was torn into a million billion teensy little pieces, could you mend it together? Pshaw! With my eyes closed, floating on my head, and with both fins tied behind my back. Hmm. <laughs> he wanted to be shorter. Oh, if only I. Yeah. I feel like we need that the egg. Perfect accessory for my hat, Monchapeau. What's wrong with the egg that's on it? The egg? It is too roly poly. But I suppose it will have to do. Unless, of course, I could get the a feather? perfect accessory. A blue tailed Joey Bird feather. That would look feather. beautiful, Pierre. Okay, I'm assuming the egg also belongs to that bird, so maybe we could do a trade. Freddy Fish shirt. Hello. That's all he does, huh? Okay. <laughs> we could just click on everything. That's cool. Okay. So, feather. Oh gosh, where do we go next? What is this thing? The great conch that our founder holds is a one-of-a-kind shell. There are no others like it in the entire ocean. Okay, so we definitely have to find it. Where do we go first? This way looks fun. Let's go right first. Oh, hello. Right up gills and buoys for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tubes ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. What is it? <laughs> uh, no, no. Oh no, he got scared. Okay, oh, uh, we have three ways to go. I don't know if I want to do this yet. I kind of want to explore and see what we need. What's in here? Oh, okay. This is a busy wow, place. it's a Grandma Grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Sea urchin, let's go. Look, Freddy, I found a purple sea urchin. Toss it over here and I'll hang on to it for later. Good work, Luther. Okay, I have two urchins for some reason. This is an eye? Doesn't look like an eye. It doesn't look like an island, it looks like a big eyeball. I'm waiting for it to blink. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's this? Pajama Sam? That's another cereal box game I really want to play. Okay. What's our fortune? Be 
beware lest you lose the substance grasping at the shadow. Truer words were never spoken. What? Okay, that just made me realize. Old game, no subtitles, not a thing in the past. No one was allowed to read, I guess. Let's go this way. Ooh! They brought a carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. We can change the car. A dog? <laughs> the organ knows a lot of songs. There's a lot of buttons on this thing. Oh, I know that song. Um, well, you can record things too. This is pretty, pretty amazing. Look like a hedgehog, or it kind of looks like a, a nut, like a walnut or something. Okay, moving, <laughs> moving on. It's so dark in here, Freddy. Ooh. I'm scared. I'll protect you, Luther. Okay, we have a really dark room. Seems like there's some visitors hiding in here. I think we need a flashlight, though, to explore it. So now we know what we need to look for when we go back. Go, oh, fishies! Do I try this game? Hurry, hurry, guppies, ladies and gems. Step right up to Gil Barker's world famous floating farm. What do I need to play? Just four purple sea urchins get you inside. Four. That's right. If you've got four purple sea urchins and you two. can hit the broadside of a barge, you can win an amazing fun house mirror like this one here. Groupers get group rates. Okay, I need four urchins and then to get the mirror for something. Nadine! Hi! I think in another playthrough she has like a bolt or something stuck on her on her uh, tooth and you have to find like a wrench to get it off. So it seems like we might not be interacting with her too much. Look, Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. Oh, this is an item I needed. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the flags. Okay. What do you know about who stole the great conch shell? The last person I saw near it was Horst Fetters. Maybe he's the one who took it. Oh, he was a tourist, right? To prove Uncle Blenny is innocent, we still need to find all three golden pipes and the stolen conch shell and discover the identity of the real culprit. That's not too bad. That's only three things. One, two, three. I can do that. Let's go over here. <gasps> this is my favorite area. I love this thing. Oh, purple Look, sea urchin. Freddy, it's a purple sea urchin. Got it. This thing is my favorite. These songs I have like stuck in my head. There's one in particular though. Let's see if I can find it. No, I like the one with the baby fish. Where's baby fish? Don't go sneaking around the ocean floor unless you wanna mess with me. Don't, don't go, go sneaking too right close to mm -hmm. my door. I don't know Down the words. In the deep blue <laughs> sea. I'm a finny fish whose bite is worse than his bark will ever be. Don't go sneaking around the ocean floor unless What's you wanna, wanna mess, mess with, with me. me. I like the one guy, he's just like having so much fun. Oh, 
little Elvis fish. Well, dive down deep into the murky sea. Well, that's where you run into me. I'm a cool catfish with an attitude. I got plenty of style to make you feel so cool. Come take a swim in the blue. I'll make you feel so cool. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. oh, uh oh, -huh. yeah. Come on, baby fish, baby fish, where is he? <gasps> oh, I'm the big old fishy who's always swimming to and fro. I always eat my seaweed because it helps me grow. Someday I'll be so big and strong I'll never have to fear. But for now I'm the big old fishy who is hiding under here. Here. I love that fish. I'm a little fish, he's always swimming Under the water is the place for me Under the water in the deep blue sea You can tell I played like just with this thing a lot growing up It's for the fun, it never ends Let's go swimming in the ocean I love to feel that thin emotion Under the water is the place for me Under the water in the deep blue sea Swimming down with my That brings back memories. Hmm. <clears throat> These kelp vines are too thick for us to get past. I don't think that's good for your teeth. What? We need a knife. That tastes horrible. If we can find someone who likes to eat this type of kelp, then we can get through this doorway. I think I know! <laughs> yeah, he wants the kelp. What's this? This looks like it's really hungry for those kelp vines. Oh, it's a traffic light. Cool. Um, nom nom. Excuse you. Glad Look, you could enjoy Luther. it. The doorway's clear. Swell. Swell. All right, let's go. <gasps> Look! Freddy, it's the terrific tumble tubes! I won't fit in these tubes, Luther, but you can go. Look, look, look! Luther, look! It's one of the golden pipes we need. <gasps> yeah, we need but it! How are we going to get it out? We'll just need to find something small enough to fit in that tube. Uh, Luther can go get it. Hmm, okay. We have a bunch of controls on our left here. Okay, go. Yippee! Okay, so is yellow, red, purple? I'm assuming this alternates like two of them. Oh, there's quite a bit. Let's try this one first. Just open that too. Oh, okay, there's bubbles. So that controls a red one. And the green one. Red one again. And this one. Okay. What about this one? Blue. Pink. And the purple one. Well, let's do the pink one. So that means this one should be able to get to this one. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, go. Yes! Bonsai! <laughs> it's one of the golden pipes! Good job, Luther! Sweet, now we got we one. Now we need just two more golden pipes for old Zoggy to pick up the scent. Okay. Oh, we got one! And I think that's it. I think that's all we can do in here. I want to see him go through more pipes, though. Let's try the green one and the blue one. And this purple one. All right, go. Have fun. E. E. <laughs> okay, that was fun. 
Nobody Ooh. knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody Hi. knows my sorrow. Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. Oh. Okay. We'll head back. It doesn't look like there's anywhere else we can go over here. So we'll have to ho go all the way back to like the main area. <sighs> I still don't have enough purple sea urchins for this game. And we don't have a flashlight for that. So we're gonna have to check out the other side of the map. Going left this time. Oh, we're at a crossroads again. Oh! <gasps> I spy with my little eye something beginning with a P. Can you guess what it is? Kenyatta. Uh. Hmm. It's a purple sea urchin. <laughs> <laughs> of course she's right. Good work, Luther. <laughs> Alrighty. Go right. Might as well. Hey, it's a tourist guy. Yeah. There's all the Squidward. Hmm. He's tiny now. He's a little guy. Oh, that's another another reference to one of their games. I don't know that one. He's like a spy fox. Oh, one too. Look out below. Look out below. Hi, my name is Luther, and this is my best friend, Freddy Fish. I am horse feathers. I am from everywhere. Souvenirs I have. The book may not be so useful for foreign phrases, but it sure is good for a laugh. <laughs> yep. Ooh. Crash down plane in an underwater volcano? Music's interesting here. Oh, that's a cool fish. I love the colors. I am humongous. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Let's check out the wreck first. Ooh, alright, go in. What do we need? Oh, nothing in here. I think they're use like they're um <sighs> one of these things ends up in this spiky trap. But not in this game. Hmm. Ooh, cool. This looks like it could have been locked. <laughs> oh, I got your sandwich. Okay, I don't think there's anything in here that we need. Not in this playthrough, anyway. Okay. Into the volcano! Let's go! Oh! Hey, get out of the bullies club! Bullies club? Oh no. He has a flashlight though. Hiya! <laughs> okay. Hmm? Oh no, your anchor fell over. I better pick it up. <laughs> um Well looky what we got here. A little it's green a big toofy got and little goody two fins. Hey My baby two fins is sleeping fins. right next to me. What do you two want? Excuse me. 
but I was wondering if we could borrow that flashlight to find the golden pipes. If it's in the clubhouse, it must be the clubhouse flashlight. And maybe you didn't notice, but this is the Bullies Club, and I just happen to be the president. <gasps> Was he trying to flex there? <laughs> okay, we have to scare the bully, I guess, to get that flashlight. Okay. I think we know how- I think I know how to do that now that I have those four purple sea urchins. The funhouse mirror. Use that to play a trick on him and get the flashlight. But I will do that momentarily. Let's explore this direction now. Wait a minute, there's still two- there's still two ways to go? I'm just gonna continue sticking to the right. Let's go this way first. Oh, hello. Would you like to try a banana? No thanks. I already had a big bowl of krill toasties for breakfast. By the way, name's Magenta. I'm Luther. Magenta. And this is Freddy Fish. I think the blue guy won. <laughs> He ate that much faster. Excuse you, coconut milk. Uh, grapes don't grow on palm trees. Those don't grow on palm trees either. <laughs> Potassium. It's delicious. Mm. I like bananas. They're good breakfast. Right, how do I leave? Bananas are good in like so much. They're like making a shake, making pancakes out of them. I like them in my oatmeal or a really fancy ice cream. <laughs> okay. We can swim through the water. Look, Freddy, there's something behind that waterfall. Wait! <laughs> That's some very solid water. We almost just killed Luther. Whew. That knocked the wind out of me. Me too. We're just gonna have to find another way to get to that waterfall. Now all the flowers match. Oh, we got an orange one. Is it random? Yeah, we'll keep it to that. Freddy, this log looks kind of like a tunnel. And it seems to be stuck in the mud. Oh, we could use our shovel. Oh, this is a shovel. We found it. That was like the easiest thing to get. Use hey, it. Luther, help me dig out this old hollow log and pull it into the water. Okie dokie. <laughs> These fish sure spend a lot of time, like, at the surface. You gotta go back underwater and be, like, actual fish. You can't breathe like this. All right. Good job, guys. Okay, now push it. Come on, Luther, help me push this log. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Luther, the funny oh. guy. Just a little further, and we'll have this log in position. Keep going. Oh, I gotta click it. <laughs> faster. Can't stop pushing. Must keep moving forward. Come on, one more time. Oh. Nice. I just had a brainstorm. 
fun. This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> a little too late there, Luther. Oh, he's funny. Oh, another golden pipe. Do we need to give you the egg? We need one of your feathers. Oh, perfect. Okay. Let's grab this feather. We could trade Luther, the egg. I think we need to find something else for that blue-tailed joey bird to cuddle with if we want to get that golden pipe. Yes, okay, we we'll get the feather. The feather from a blue-tailed joey bird. It's beautiful, Freddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, what bubble is that in? Oh, my shovel's gone. Okay, I have the feather instead, though. Okay, before we go back to the tailor, let's see what's this way. from the dramatic to the acrobatic and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, hmm. gentlefish, and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed. Oh, okay. We'll watch some shows. Freddy, do you know how to become a performer in Rosie Pearl's world-famous luau show? No, Rosie. How? Well, you fill out an application and send it into the home office. Then you wait for a long time and hope that one day we'll call you. That sounds like a long process. But it's a good one. But it is only three steps. <laughs> Are these the axe? Ooh, you... <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Reminds me of the chatterer in a uh, Hellraiser. <laughs> this that should be the last thing I think of when I'm playing this game. <laughs> Ooh, sheesh was that great or what? Yeah, you bet it was. I am loving your energy, girl. Bebop Spidoo. Come on, let's put those bins together. That's it. All right, didn't really like that one. Ooh. Do you sing? Ooh. <laughs> Come on, folks, let's hear it. Show them that you love them. He didn't do anything, he just burped. Oh, look at his face. He's cute. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Give it up, folks. Let's hear some applause. I'm applause. I like that guy. Ooh, magic. Nice phase. Hey, let's make some noise out there. What else is there? What else is there? Oh no, I don't want to see a watermelon get smooshed. <laughs> so what do you think of the show so far? I didn't really like that act. It wasn't much, and the guy just like had his laugh track on repeat. Is she dancing in space?
like that one. Folks, let's hear it. Show them that you love them. How many more? More dancing? Oh, someone's jealous. Other than that jealousy, it would have been Come a good on, act. Everybody, let's put those pins together. That's it. Ooh, there's so many. I wasn't expecting this many. Good job, little flea. So what do you think of the show so far? Okay, let's keep going. Oh no! <laughs> Wait! He had a different act this time. Give it up, folks! Let's hear some applause! Huh, okay, so maybe these guys have multiple acts. I'm only here for the first impression, though. Good job! Was that great or what? Yeah, you bet it was! I like her. I hope she didn't steal the conch. I don't know who would have done it though. Maybe the bully at the bullies club. Oh, we're back at the beginning. Okay. Hey, let's make some noise out there! Okay, I want to know if that... Adorable looking octopus guy can actually like have a snake appear. Aww. So what do you think of the show so far? He tried a little bit better this time. Okay, one more chance. You get one more chance. Actually a snake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, people liked that one. Did she see him smile at the end? Oh. Show him that you love him. I do. I love him the best. <laughs> that was an adorable performance. Bravo. <laughs> okay, now. We need to get this. I have the feather, I have the sea urchins. So there's a couple things I could do on the way back. Okay, while we're here, let's get the egg from the tailor. Can I give him this? Pierre, we found a beautiful blue-tailed joey bird feather. And we thought you might like it to decorate your hat. Oh, yes. The feather is a perfect accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. You can't keep that roly-poly egg. Cool, we got the egg. It's a magnifique. It's a beautiful hat. Yes, I love it. Okay, no one like seems to have like a motive or anything either from what I'm learning of for why they would have took it. The only thing that we're going off of is that those are the people around at the time. That's the only info we got. So we got the egg. Let's go do this game for the shark here. I forget his name. Got four purple sea urchins just burning a hole in your pocket? Then step right up to Gulbarka's fantastic floating fun. You'll have more fun than a barrel of brine shrimp and end up taking home a fabulous fun house mirror. Yes, I need this it. This one is a demo. The one you get will be even better. Oh, really? Just pay, then play, do it today. Hey, 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 and what do you say? Okay, okay. Here's a purple sea urchin. Oh, I thought I could give it to him all at once. That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. Okay, okay. Here's another. 
Another purple sea urchin for you. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. Here's He's another pretty quick with his rhymes. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Okay, here we go. Last one. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you, too, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. <laughs> what? Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day? <laughs> How convenient, huh? Not a coincidence at all. Put the critters up the wall. When oh, no, the okay. steam critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away. Okay, how do I do this? Well, so I got to click. game oh I almost missed it most challenging thing in this whole game only because you have to time it right oh oops oh, okay okay they just have to be next to each other Gives me some room to work with. How many are there? There's a lot of creatures in this tube. Oh, we're nearly done. Appreciation of your prodigious prowess, the world famous floating fun is proud to present you it's with a better this mirror, right? A fantabulous fun Ooh. house mirror replica. <laughs> well, Luther's There's definitely no time enjoying for it. That now, Luther. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Okay. We got the mirror, we got the egg. So we can go back. Let's go get that egg, that uh, golden pipe from the bird. Because then I don't think we have to come over this way again. So we'll just get this area cleared out. All bird, I have an egg for you. This egg should make that blue-tailed joey bird happier than that golden pipe ever was. <laughs> what? <laughs> Get it. Golden cat. Good job, Good little dude. No, Freddy. Golden pipe. All we need is one more golden pipe. 
an old doggy can sniff out the thief. But we haven't seen the actual conch shell yet. Is it true that we're not going to have a festival? Is it, Mommy? Gee, I hope no. they can find the conch shell so we can have a festival. I haven't found the shell yet. We've waited all year. Oh! <laughs> Everything is so adorable in this game. It's amazing, like, how far games have come, too. Like, this is what I grew up playing. <laughs> and now it's like... I guess I, I was probably, like, I don't know, six or eight years old, maybe, when I, were, I was playing this. Nowadays, aren't those kids... Aren't, aren't kids that age playing, like, Minecraft and stuff? Roblox. So advanced compared to stuff like this. Oh, I didn't want to come this way. We gotta go back and uh, get that flashlight from the bully. I don't think the tourists did it either. This is just my guess. It's probably something we're not going to figure out until, like, the very end. This president of the Bullies Club, I command you to leave. Freddy, I know we need his flashlight to get Uncle Blenny out of jail, but this guy is too mean to mess with. Hey, Luther, I have a plan. <laughs> Flashlight as long as you want. Oh, you have a change of heart now, huh? You've been tricked. Okay. Okay, considering that we haven't seen the third golden pipe yet, I think it's in that really dark cave. So now that we have the flashlight, we should be able to find it. But the conch, though, haven't seen it yet. I really don't think there's anywhere else we can explore. The big eyes. Okay, well... Okay, I scared off all those guys, but what else is in here? <gasps> yes! Nah, go away! Freddy, there's a golden pipe in here! Way to go, Luther! We did it, Freddy! We got all we three! all three golden pipes! Come on! Let's see if old Soggy can pick up the bad guy's scent. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here you go, boy. <laughs> Come on, Luther. We've got a bad guy to catch. This is new. Old Soggy! 
doggy. The thief. The conch. Get him. Oh, Luther, no. Bad idea, bro. Bad idea. Sure. I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich. No. No. -uh. Uh oh. Oh, hey, we're trapped. what happened? Well, I, I saw this jewel and, and then I took it out and the door closed and I don't... Just put the jewel back, Luther. Luther! Shh. Oops. Oh. Don't worry. I'll find a way to get you out so you can put the jewel back and we can catch that... Oh, Soggy. <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. I love that name, Soggy. This is my doggy Soggy. He's adorable. Okay, we need I'm a key. I'm guessing that this keyhole is related to Luther's predicament. I can, I can click a lot here. Oh, that's not nice. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, how's it going? I'll find a way to get the gem and have you out of there in no time, Luther. Good, because there are some pretty fishy things down here. Besides me, that is. Wait, how, how large is that space? It looks so cramped. Oh, boy. I got two doors. Ooh. That light <laughs> looks awful. It's so pixelated. Hey, I'll bet that's the key I need to get Luther out. Right. Hmm. Nothing in this place is as easy as it looks. Okay, so I can't touch the light. I wonder what that hole is for. So if I put something there, that'll turn the light off? Hmm, okay. I guess we have to find whatever it is to turn the light off. We need a red one, right? Oh, okay. That's easy enough. Oh, that's a gorgeous shade of red. I hope this doesn't set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. Uh, uh, oh. Okay, we this need a red tool. This crystal could really come in handy if I could only break it loose. Where would the tool be? Maybe over here? There's still more? Oh, that's cool. Fix the pot. No? Um, I'm guessing... Why is this green? So we came from there. What's over here? Oh, okay. So the colors indicate what color gem you can get. I don't think we need those. Is a tool in here? Oh, there's a chisel. Okay. It's a chisel. I should hold on to this. It might come in handy. I know exactly what we're going to use that for. Hey, that's pretty good for a plan. Good job. There's like a mummy fish living in there. Okay, we're so close. We're so close. Okay, let's use the chisel. Nope. I can pop my inventory? How did it take me that long to do a that? chisel could loosen that crystal. This beautiful red crystal sure gives off a lot of light. I've used a chisel in real life. 
What did I use it for? <laughs> I cook on a very some home renovation thingy, probably. Hey, the crystal grew back. How? Magic? Okay, so the crystal's gonna go in the big guy's hand. I have an idea. You got this. You got this. Oh! I needed the same color, right? Yes. Yippee! Oh, those I textures are so weird. It's so pixely. Good enough for the time, though. Okay. Let's go help our buddy. A little green dude. could have like took like another of the colored gem and put that there and we could have kept the jewel and actually be rich look Lothar the thief must have dropped this bag <gasps> looks like we can solve this case come on this is an awful thief they were so clumsy no conch shell means no festival and I just polished my tooth Oh, the colossal irony of it all. I here came too for this? Disappointed my old silver-haired granny will be, if not snapshot I bring back from festival. It's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm gonna give that bum a piece of my mind. Please kill me! Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent! <gasps> but who is it? He dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found this microphone, <gasps> which means the thief is... No, it's her? It was her this whole time? The contents of the bag clearly established... What happens if I click somebody else? ...identity as... Wait a minute. Could the thief possibly be Claw the Bully? Oh, no! <laughs> the Claw! Ain't gonna get pinched for something he didn't do. I'm clean, I tell ya. Right down to my underwear. Gee, Ugh. if it wasn't Claw, then who's the thief? Okay, all right. It was her the whole time? How? What's her motive? Rosie Pearl, you're the thief. Ah, that could have been anybody's microphone in that bag. You ain't got nothing but on But we had me. so much fun at the show. Oh, no? Okay, so maybe you do have something on me. I confess, the great conch shell is a real crowd pleaser. I figured I could have a full house every night if I used it in my show. Maybe, but stealing the conch made everyone else unhappy. It's selfish to do something you want when it hurts other people. And it's just plain wrong to steal. I acted like a second-class entertainer. Hmm. I am sorry. Here it is. The great conch shell. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand exalted keeper of the conch. Thanks to Freddy and Luther. And Soggy. Oh, oh, oh. And old Soggy. Give him a treat. Gosh. What can I ever do to thank you? Give him a treat. Just do your duty, oh grand exalted keeper of the conch. <laughs> oh, look, she's over at the back. <laughs> Rosie was convicted of violating Penal Code 682 for wrongful conch napping. She was sentenced to 4,231 hours of public service helping humor impaired fish to be funny. Case closed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was very out of place. <gasps> Yay, we did it! <laughs> Time for credits. Oh man. Oh, they're all partying. This is awesome. Even Soggy. Soggy needs a treat though. 
Oh man, this is fun. A lot of it, it did remind me of like my childhood. I remember so much of this. Oh, okay, so I'm wondering if like, does it, is it random? Like if I were to get like the exact same kind of like puzzle, like while searching for each of the golden pipes, could, could I have gotten a different person there? It's not like I found clues along the way. The only clue you got was like at the end. So, I mean, it's probably totally random just at the end, like, who was actually the person, or who was actually the thief. But I remember there being, like, so many other different puzzles, so it's like, I could totally play it again. It only took me about, it took me about an hour just to play through it, just one time. So if I were to do it again, we'd, probably, we'd get, like, a couple different puzzles. Like, what are the odds I'm gonna get the same one? So I wonder how many different, like, versions of the game you can get. Just, um, regard, well outside of who the randomly selected thief is at the end. But that's pretty cool. Oh. So cute though. Okay, so this is just like one of the many, well, one of the many, one of the few cereal box type games that I would love to play. <laughs> um, the only other one that I have that's similar to this one is actually like Pajama Sam. I really like that one too. I have a lot of fond memories of that as well, like especially like growing up playing it with my brothers. It was always so much fun. Anyways, so that's it for Freddy Fish 3. Thank you for joining me on my little throwback here. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad I got to like play this again. Now I actually have footage of that that little fishy, that baby fish singing the song, because I love that song. It's so cute. When I have kids one day, I'm totally gonna sing it to them and they're gonna think I'm nuts. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for helping helping the channel reach a goal of 300 subs. I've had a blast so far. There's so many games I want to play. I've, I've enjoyed like everything from like making the videos to streaming and I'm glad you guys are enjoying it too. Okay, that is it for Freddy's Fish 3. Thank you guys so much for watching and being here on this journey. Please leave a like if you're enjoying it. Ring that bell so you can stay updated on, on any new content I put out and I will see you guys in whatever I put out next. Bye guys.